Hello everyone, welcome to another series of how to use Miller washing machine. This is going to be my third video. I have done two of them in the past few years. The first one is how to change Miller washing machine twin doors system. And the second one is how to use to do your cotton washing for the program's minimum eye. If you are interested, please check out the comments below. I have pinned it. So today I'm going to share my experience of, as you can see, I bought this not so long ago. I'm going to put my washing in. At the moment, it's something like this. I will share it with you later. So my washing is in now because I'm gonna use the twin doors in the machine so I'm not gonna use my own washing powder so if you wanted to know if you use your own rather than use the twin doors your washing powder or detergent should be in the main drawer and this one is for my fabric conditioner so I'm gonna put it in here and you don't need this one but I prefer to use this in every wash oops So turn it on. I'm going to change the temperature to be 30 because I washed my bath mat. That says it must be 30 centigrade. Press DOS for colors. Okay, it's going to start washing now. So when your cartridge 1 or 2 is about to run out, this computer will tell us. In a minute I'll show you. It, like now, it will say curtain 1 empty. So we know now, which means this one is empty now. And you can see Ultra Freeze 2 still got a little bit left. Okay. We got the information now. It also will know we are using a different agent. I didn't buy from Miller. You can. It's about £25 for each. I'm using Purcell. Okay. So this is really clever. Even knows I'm using a different one. Ask me to press start stop. We wait. Here this click. Okay, turn it off to be safe. Leave the door open. We're gonna change cartridges now. And today is the next day. I normally leave it open all the time. Okay. I'm gonna take cartridge one and two both out. There's a little hat there, press it. Okay, that's contain the ultra freeze two. And one. Open this up. Hopefully this is a good one. But I never use it before. Let's give it a go, shall we? Let's compare. Ultra phrase two. That's Ultra Phrase one. Feels oh it's the same. Okay, let me talk about this because I have been topped up with my own detergent. I know I have been using the same bottle. I'm gonna tell you how I fill them up. You're gonna laugh, but I have been doing this for years. I bought about six or eight ultra phrase one or ultra phrase two or 10, maybe a bit more from Miller. But the trouble is, when you first buy the washing machine, this will come with the machine, then it's up to you. You can buy from them for, I believe this is similar to your washing powder. This will be slightly, slightly bleach ultra freeze too. 
In order to save money, I have been using Persil non-bio. It's a liquid version. I've been top it up, use my Persil to this, use a chopstick. I'm going to show you how did I do that. So if you want to, you can do this. It's very time consuming. I would say they almost they are exactly the same height. The only difference is the top up ones refills have something at the bottom like this. I'm not sure what this is for actually. They are about nine centimeters width. The height is about 24. I bought this because this is easy to open. I haven't opened it before. So whenever I top it up, it will be much easier. And another reason I decided to invest my 50 pounds to buy two of these refills is because, as you can see, Ultra Freeze 2 seems all right after three or two years usage, never changed a little bit and very easy to top up because it's very liquidish. Ultra Freeze 1, this one, you see it's deformed. I'm not sure what has happened. Maybe the washing machine need a lot more suction when it is using washing liquid or washing powder. That's why quite often my machine will tell me uh, need new cartridges. But actually this one is already in the washing machine. Maybe because it's been sucked up so badly, almost deformed, that makes the machine think I haven't put anything in for Ultra Freeze 1 because this happened several times so I decided to invest with this and also much easier to top up but as for how good they are after a few years I might do another video just to tell everyone my experience with this and again this is not an advert because it's just, I want to share my experience with you. Okay. I have also noticed some people online also cut this open by themselves to reuse it. I'm not ready to do so. My way is to use a chopstick. Whenever the washing machine says, need new cartridges, like need new cartridges one, in order to let it back to its own form, what I do is like this. See, I put a chopsticks in it. Once you hit the puff, bit of air in this. So I give a bit of a squeeze. Then I put it back in to washing machine. Quite often you need to do it two or three times. Then washing machine will detect ultra freeze one, will let us off sometimes you have to do it more than twice. So that's inconvenience. Hopefully this one is more steady. Oh, sorry everyone. What happened? Okay. So for Ultra Freeze 1, if you want to, and you have some time on hands, and you don't mind with your time in order to save money, you can do this. But you must put something like this in, because otherwise you won't be able to let the washing up liquid to go in. You may be able to see now, you got a little holes there. Once I put my chopsticks out or anything, a stick or something, you see, you won't be able to get in. That's the reason why I do this. Put it in, you can see the holes now, okay? But you probably will laugh this is very, very time consuming. I mean, you don't have to buy Perso, buy any, anyone. Okay, you just me. I found out Perso non-bio is quite good. My husband likes it. What I do is this. Very, very, very slowly. Okay. And you don't want to pull a lot out because look like this. That's good. If more than this, it will come up. See? So top this up. I'm not going to do it now because I bought my refills just to show you if you're willing to do so. The new one is about here. So the line, you don't top right up. The furthest you can go is just 
to be safe slightly above this stickers to be safe you just put anything below that that's good so ultra freeze too very easy to do i normally use a that also use my chopsticks the same rules apply because it's quite liquidary i put it there still slowly the slower the better okay that's the way to top it up so for ultra freeze one i've been using parcel non-bio and ultra freeze two i have been using this one maybe you have a better idea if you could you please tell me i found out this two's combination is very similar to miller ultra freeze one and two and for my personal experience is not professional i found out these two are quite good I'm going to put my ultra freeze tube back in my washing machine because still loads left. When I first change my cartridges, I do not know whether the machine will tell me it's empty or not. I still got loads left. I chucked it. I even phoned them up. The girl on the phone said better just change a new one. But from my experience, again, I'm, I don't work for Miller and I'm not expert. I realized through my years of using Miller washing machine, the machine will tell you this container is empty and need changing and it will use the very last drop of your washing detergent so you don't want to waste any. Okay, hope this is very useful to you. Say goodbye to my beloved Ultra Freeze 2 pretending to be one but served us many years. Okay, bye bye, bye bye. Now I'm going to top this up. Hopefully this will last me for quite some time. Okay. And now it's January 2021. Oh. Of course this will be much easier. Hopefully it won't leak. I realize a little hatch there okay another thing i realized just in case you didn't see there's a little hatch so when you try to close the lid put the little hatch in first so as you can see i haven't topped up to the full amount but it's okay gonna put it in now hopefully this will last me for quite some years Thank you. That's done. And before I chuck this away, I'm just gonna do a little photo shoot for you. For anyone who's interested in this. 1.5 liters. Another reason for that, it just feels a shame to chuck all these containers away. They are quite good quality and I don't want to keep buying plastic. Okay. Okay, hope this video is useful to you, for whom think about buying the same one like me, or try to even make your own, or like what I used to do. At the moment, I think this is much easier. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.